Assalamu alaikum. Tonight's a special night. Alhamdulillah. We're all lucky to be here. We're all lucky to be here, alhamdulillah. Say thank you, Allah. Alhamdulillah, 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 alhamdulillah. We're lucky to know Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're lucky to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Tonight's a special night. And we honor special nights. It's a special evening. And we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is with us hearing us, seeing us, witnessing us, observing us, monitoring us, taking care of us, sustaining us, our Lord, our caretaker. The one who brought us into existence, we turn to him right now. We turn to him with hearts of gratitude, we turn to him because he deserves to be turned to. He deserves to be turned to. We worship Allah because he merits worship. And anything we do, God doesn't need us. We need God. God doesn't need us. We need Allah. And Allah in his generosity and his love and his compassion he chose you. You're lucky you're here right now. Alhamdulillah. 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 It's a special night. Right now, we must we must be honest and say that right now. Our President Trump just announced that he's bombing Syria. And it, when the Prophet وسلم, was taken to the Isra al Mi'raj, it was taken in one of the most difficult times of his life. One of the most difficult times of his life. His wife, Khadija, who took care of him, who honored him nurtured him, covered him, and just passed away. His uncle, his protector in the Mecca community, just passed away. He just returned from Ta'if where children chased him away, throwing pebbles and rocks at him. Life was heavy. Life was heavy. Things were difficult. And in the Muslim Ummah right now, we turn to Allah, Ya Allah, things are difficult. <coughs> Ya Allah, we ask you for our mihraj, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you for our isra, Ya Allah. The isra and the mihraj of the ummah, Ya Allah. And we start with ourselves. We start with ourselves. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this night. Ameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept us being here. To accept our prayers. To accept our dhikr, to accept our Qur'an, Qur'an greeting, Ya Allah. That's the nature of this world, there are ups and downs. And we ask Allah to make this a moment in which things turn around for the Muslim Ummah. Allahumma ameen. We take the asbab, we take the means, but we turn to the musabbik, the one who causes. We take the isbab, but we turn to the musabbib. I'm sorry that I'm here today and Sidi Tarif Arabi is not here. He had to go, take care. He's visiting, he's traveling. At this moment, before we commence the reading of the shimmering light and the molid, and thereafter share some thoughts before Isha prayer, we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his words of Al-Fatiha, asking him by these words to elevate the Muslim Ummah, to protect those suffering, those oppressed, 
all of them, all of our beloveds. You know, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was always concerned deeply in his heart, but was always, always smiling. He was always concerned deeply in his heart for everyone's suffering, but was always smiling. Sallallahu Alaihi Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulullah. So our heart today goes with all of those who don't have the blessings that we have. And so we read Al-Fatiha for them, we read Al-Fatiha for all the atrocities committed by man. We read Al-Fatiha for Amu Tarif and his affairs and we miss him today, Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah. I mean, is there an extra book that I can borrow of the Shimmy Light? Asif is Ajib. He called me like two weeks ago. He said, Mehdi, are you going to come the, the night of the 13th uh, to MCC? I said, Yeah, inshallah, I'll be there. Right? Papa! All of a sudden, a week later, <laughs> someone sends a message and I see on my phone there will be a talk given by Mehdi Amin. I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. But then I see Abu Tarif is attending as well, and I was with him. So I said, Abu Tarif, I'm not going to say anything. You're there, you know, I'm not going to say anything. You know, I'll do the sheet, I'll do the khazil, I'm not going to say anything. He said, okay. So I said, you know, I'll just, you know, pass through the mic. He said, okay. Now I'm saying something. <laughs> so it's all Asif's fault. <laughs> I have suspicion that he might be a wadi. Say, I mean, I mean. <laughs> but be where Allah puts you, you know, be where Allah puts you. Alhamdulillah. So we're going to do the shimmering light. Do we have copies of the books that we're going to pass out? We have the projector? Okay. Al-Fatiha. يا ربي صل على محمد يا ربي صل عليه وسلم وسلم يا ربي صل على محمد حبيبك الشافع المشفع حبيبك الشافع المشفع يا ربي صل على محمد على الورى رتبة وارفع يا ربي على الورى رتبة وارفع يا ربي صل على محمد اسم البرايا جهن وأوسع يا ربي أسمى البرايا جاها وأوسع يا ربي صل على محمد واسلك بنا ربي خير مهيا يا ربي واسلك بنا ربي خير مهيا يا ربي صل على محمد وعافنا واشف كل موسى يا ربي صل على محمد وعافنا واشف كل موسى يا ربي صل على محمد واصلح القلب واعف وانفع يا ربي واصلح القلب واعف وانفع يا ربي صل على محمد واكف المعادي واصرف وارداع يا ربي صل على محمد معادي واصرف وارداع يا ربي صل على محمد نعلو بحصنك الممنع يا ربي نحل بحصنك الممنع يا ربي صل على محمد 
إلا وأضحى والها نشوانا صلى الله عليه أين المحبون الذين عليهم بذل النفوس مع النفائس هانا صلى الله عليه لا يسمعون بذكر طه المصطفى إلا بهم تعشوا وأذهب رانا صلى الله عليه فاهتاجت الأرواح تشتاق اللقاء وتحن تسأل ربها الرضوانا صلى الله عليه آل المحبين كذا فاسمع إلى سير المشفع وارهف الآذانا صلى الله عليه وامصط إلى أوصاف تاه المجتبى واحذر لقلبك يمتلئ وجدانا يا ربنا صلي وسلم دائما على حبيبك من إليك دعانا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وعلى اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله نفعنا الله فقال جاءكم نور فسبحان الذي انبانا ونور ضاع عبده من نبي في ذكره اعظم به من هو رحمة المولى هو رحمة المولى تم المولى فليفرحوا واغدوا به فرحانا صلى الله عليه مستمسكا بالعروة الوثقى معتصما بحبل الله من انشانا صلى الله عليه مستشعرا انوار من طيل متى كنت نبيا قال ادم كان صلى الله عليه بين التراب وبين ماء فاستفق من غفلة عذا وكن يقضانا صلى الله عليه واعبر إلى أسرار ربي لم يزل ينقلني بين الخيار مصانا صلى الله عليه لم تفترق من شعبتين إلا أنا في خيرها حتى بروزي أنا صلى الله فأنا خيار من خيار قد خرجت من نكاح الإله صانا ظهره الله حما اختاره وما براك مثله إنسانا صلى الله عليه وبحبه وبذكره والنصر والتوقير رب العرش قد أمصانا يا ربنا صل وسلم دائما على حبيبك من إليك دعانا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله محمد أشرف الأعراب والعجمي محمد خير من يمشي على قدمي محمد باسط المعروف في جميعه محمد صاحب الإحسان والكرم لا إله إلا الله 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 مولانا لا إله إلا الله يا رب خذ بيدي محمد تجر لله قاطبة محمد صادق الأقوال والكلمي محمد ثابت الميثاق حافظه محمد طيب الأخلاق والشيم لا إله إلا الله 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 مولانا لا إله إلا الله يا رب خذ بيدي محمد رويت بالنور طينته محمد لم 
يزال نورا من القدم محمد حكيم للعدل ذو شرف محمد معدل الانعام والحكم لا اله الله 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 لنا لا اله الا الله يا رب خذ بيدي محمد خير خلق الله من مضر محمد خير رسل الله كل محمد دينه حق ندين به محمد مجملا حقا على العالم لا إله إلا الله الله مولانا لا إله إلا الله يا محمد ذكره روح لأنفسنا محمد شكره فرض على الأمم محمد زينة الدنيا وبهجتها محمد كاشف الأمة وقول بمولا صل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كل محمد سيد طابت مناقبه محمد صابه الرحمن بالنعم مولاي صل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كل محمد صفوة البار وخيرته محمد طاهر من سائر تهم مولاي صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم محمد ضاحك للضيف مخرفه محمد شاره والله يرضى بمولاي صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله محمد طابت الدنيا ببعثته محمد جاء بالايات والحكم مولاي صل وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله صلى الله عليه 
هذا وقد نشر الإله نعوته في الكتب بينا لنا تبيانا قال الله عليه أخذ ميثاق النبيين لما آتيتكم من حكمة إحسانا قال الله عليه وجاءكم رسولنا لتؤمنن وتنصرون وتصبحون أعوانا قال الله عليه قد بشروا أقوامهم بالمصطفى أعظم بذلك رتبة ومكانا قال الله عليه فهو وإن جاء الأخير مقدم يمشون تحت لواء من نادانا قال الله عليه يا الإسلام أول شافع ومشفع أنا قبط لا أتوانا صلى الله عليه حتى أناد ارفع وسن تعطى وقل يسمع لقولك نجم فخر كبانا صلى الله عليه ولواء حمد الله جل بيدي ولأولا آتي أنا الجنانا صلى الله عليه وأكرم الخلق على الله أنا فلقد حباك الله منه حنانا صلى الله عليه ولسوف يعطيك فالأرض جل من معط تقاصر عن عطاه نهانا صلى الله عليه بالله كرم بالله كرر ذكر وصف محمد كيما تزيح عن القلوب الرانا صلى الله عليه وسلم صل وسلم دائما على حبيبك من اليك دعا Allah, salli 
ربي على النبي مولانا محمد الله We watch with gentle fostering care The seed that you have sown, Allah And trust to hear the world declare God's prophet as its own, Allah Salli Rabbi ala nabi Shafi'ina Ahmed Allah Salli Rabbi ala nabi Mawlana Muhammad Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa ala اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله صلى الله عليه لما دنا وقت البروز لاحمد عن ابن من ما شاءه قد كان صلى الله عليه حملت به الام الامينه بنت وهب من لها على الاله مكانا صلى الله عليه من والد المختار عبد الله بن عبد المطلب الرأي الفرهان صلى الله عليه قد كان يمكن نور طه وجهه وسرع الى الامن المصون عيانا وهو ابن هاشم الكريم الشام بن عبد مناف بن قصي كان صلى الله عليه والده يدعى حكيما شأنه قد اعتلى أعزز بذلك شانا صلى الله عليه واحفظ أصول المصطفى حتى ترى في سلسلات أصوله عدنانا صلى الله عليه فهناك قف ولم برفعه إلى اسماعيل كان للأبي معوانا صلى الله عليه وحينما حملت به آمنة لم تشكو شيئا يأخذ النسوانا صلى الله عليه وبها حاطلق وبها حاطلق من رب السماء وبها من رب السماء أقصى الأذى والهم والحزانا صلى الله عليه ورد كما قد جاء ما علمت به أن المهيمن شرف الأكوانا صلى الله عليه بالظهر من في قطنها فاستبشرت ودن المقاض فأشعت رضوانا سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله الله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم في كل لحظة أبدا عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزلة عشره وبداد كلماته وتجلت الأنوار من كل الجهات فوقت ميلاد المشفع حالا صلى الله عليه وقبيل فجر أبرزت شمس الهدى ظهر الحبيب مكرما ومصانا صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك الله يا حبيب سلام عليك يا رسول الله صلوات الله عليك الله يا نبي سلام عليك الله يا رسول 
العظيم المن يا رب يا الله شملنا بالمصطفى جمع يا الله ربي فاغفر لي ذنوبي يا الله ببركة الهادي المشفى وبه فانظر إلينا يا الله واعطينا بكل مضمى يا الله ربي فاغفر لي ذنوبي يا الله وبه فانظر إلينا يا الله واعطينا بكل مضمى يا الله ربي فاغفر لي ذنوبي يا الله بركة الهادي المشفى يا الله واكفنا كل البلايا يا الله واكفى الأفات وارضى يا الله ربي فاغفر لي ذنوبي يا الله ببركة الهادي المشفى يا الله صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واسقنا يا رب حيثنا بحي الأطال يهنا صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واختم العمرة بحسنى واحسن العمرة والمرجع صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والصلاة الله تخشى من له الحسن تجمع صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أحمد الظهر وأهله والصحابة مسنا الشعب صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله <laughs> we have eight minutes left. I want to share something with you, with everyone. This is a hadith, it's three words. Inshallah, everyone can take this home. You can take it with you, inshallah. We're going to say it together in Arabic and in English. It's very easy, it's very simple. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm going to say it once and then I'll ask you to repeat it after me. In Arabic, As-Salatu Mi'raj al-Mu'min. Great. One more time, everyone repeat after me. As-Salatu Mi'raj al-Mu'min. And usually the ladies win all these competitions. What happened today? Let's do it one more time in Arabic, all together. As-salatu mi'raju al-mu'min. As-salatu mi'raju al-mu'min. Allahu Akbar. In English, prayer is the ascension of the believer. Say it in English. Prayer is the ascension of the believer. One more time. Alhamdulillah, all of you have learned the hadith. Congratulations. Mabruk. You learned words from the Messenger of God. That's no small feat. Prayer is the ascension of the believer. You are all believers. And so, where do you ascend in prayer? How is your prayer? How is my prayer? Are we ascending? Is it a mi'raj? Tonight we're celebrating the mi'raj. We're celebrating the ascension of the Prophet And our prayer is an ascension. One time I was praying, and this non-Muslim lady saw me, and I was praying with the group, and she came to me afterwards. She said, this is the first time I see this. And she said, you guys seem so connected. You guys seem so connected. Salah in Arabic shares the, the root meaning with what? To connect. To connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because each of us, we have a secret recipe on how to connect with Allah. It's called prayer. It's called prayer. It's a secret that you know. It's a secret that you've been gifted. You don't have to pray, you get to pray. You don't have to pray, you get to pray. You're lucky that you know prayer. You're lucky that you know how to communicate and commune with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our scholars and teachers say the greatest secret of the spiritual path, if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
the greatest secret of the spiritual path is night prayer. Night prayer. They say if you know the, the power of the night, you would treat every night as the night of power. You would treat every night like Laylatul Qadr. May Allah help us pray at night, inshaAllah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So we believe in this ascension, this miraculous ascension that the, the Messenger of God وسلم, did. We don't need signs to confirm it. We don't need signs to confirm it. We really don't. We really don't. Because we're not, all of us here, we're not confined to time and space. We see beyond time and space. That's how amazing you are. That's how amazing you are. You're not limited to time and space. You're not confined to time and space. You live beyond time and space. That's how special Allah made you. He gave you this soul that's beyond time and space. He gave you a way to see beyond time and space. And if you live in the confines of time and space, then all you do is turn to the dunya. But if you live beyond time and space, then what you do is turn to Allah. If you live confined to time and space, you turn to the dunya, you turn to yourself. You see yourself. If you live beyond time and space, you turn to Allah and you turn to the afterlife. That's where we live. This world is the home for the homeless. Our home is somewhere else. For us, for every human being, seeing is believing. But for a Muslim, believing is seeing. For us, believing is seeing. We affirm, like Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, when the Messenger of God came back, from the Isra al Mi'raj, he said, I went in one night all the way to Jerusalem. And in one night came back and I woke up here. And one man, Mut'am ibn Adi, he said, Ashhadu and I can't even repeat it. But we're gonna correct it. He said, Ashhadu anna I bear witness that you are a liar that you are lying. And then that's when, that's when Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, and I want all of us to say it in his sunnah and say it together with me. Ashhadu annaka sadiqun. Ashhadu annaka sadiqun. I bear witness that you are saying the truth. Our messenger, I bear witness you're saying the truth. And he said, Sadaqta, 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 Sadaqta. Ashhadu anna ka Rasulullah. Everyone say, Sadaqta, Sadaqta. Ashhadu anna ka Rasulullah. And that's when he earned the name Abu Bakr al Siddiq. That's right. Because believing is, seeing is believing, and for us, believing is seeing. We don't need science to tell us what's right and wrong. We really don't. We'll tell science what's right and wrong. Seriously, I ain't even joking. So what happened on the Mi'raj and what do we do in our prayer? In the Mi'raj, As-Salatu Mi'raj al-Mu'min. In the Mi'raj, the Messenger of God saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you see Allah in your prayer? Al-Ihsan an ta'abud Allah ka'annaka tara' fa'in lam takun tara' fa'innahu yara' Ihsan, spiritual excellence is worshiping God as if you see Him. And if you don't see Him, know that He sees you. One time in our school, we gave, one teacher gave the students each a chocolate and said, eat this where no one sees you. They came the next day, said, where'd you eat it? Under the bed, in the closet, in the garage. And one student came back and said, I didn't eat it. She said, why? She said, because Allah can see me. Allah can see me. So she gave him a second chocolate and then he ate two chocolates. <laughs> We see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our prayer, in our prayer, in our prayer. Our, you know, some of us was in his prayer one time and he, he saw his shoelaces and they distracted him, his sandal laces and they distracted him after the prayer. He said, take these new shoelaces and give me my old shoelaces back because they distracted me from the prayer. They distracted me from my beloved, from God. So we stand and we connect with Allah. We turn to God, we throw everything away. 
Our, his sight didn't swerve. His sight didn't swerve, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the mihraj. And in our prayer, we implore Allah to help our sight stay close, focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ameen. One day, I, I encourage everyone to do this sunnah. Everyone. Everyone, I encourage you to do this sunnah. One day, in your lifetime, at least once, when you get distracted by an article of clothing, take it after you finish prayer. Take it off if it's halal. Don't take it off in the masjid. Take it off and give it in salah. Take it off again and say, Ya Allah, I'm giving this away because it distracted me from you. I saw my colorful socks and I saw this funky design on my funky socks. And I don't want these funky socks to take me away from you. I'm giving them in Sadafah, even though they're brand new and even though I like them. One time Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was praying and his robe distracted him. He gave away the robe. Prayer. It's our, it's our, it's our most beloved thing. But it's an art. It's an art that we master over time. Number one, we see Allah. Number two, our sight doesn't swerve. Number three, what did Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam see in his Mi'raj? He saw heaven. Ah, oh, your future home. Your future home. He saw heaven. Ami. He saw heaven. Take us away from all this crazy chaos in this world and the stress and the de depression and the difficulty. See heaven beyond time and space. And he saw the fire. May Allah protect us from the fire. Number five, four, he saw the fire. Number five, he saw interesting punishments. He was with Jibreel traveling. Listen, every physical act has a metaphysical reality. He saw some people, there was delicious, yummy meat, and there was this gross, nasty meat full of pus, rotting, and they were eating the nasty, rotten meat. He said, who, is, who are these people? And Gabriel, he said, I'm saying, these are people that have a halal spouse, a halal husband and wife, and then they go and fulfill their pleasure in the haram. Then he saw some people with copper nails harming themselves. May Allah protect us. He said, who are these? These are the people that use their tongue to backbite and harm others. May Allah protect us from backbiting. Make intention not to backbite. Make intention not to backbite. He saw people whose Heads were being smashed. He said, who are these people? These are the people that consistently always were too sleepy. Their heads were on the pillow and they refused to get up for prayer. May Allah make us people who pray Fajr on time. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Finally, he came back from the Mihraj with a gift to mankind. He came back with prayer. Prayer is a gift. You get to pray. You don't have to pray. You get to pray. Heaven is optional, as I tell my Islamic study students. Do we have to do this homework? I say your homework is optional and heaven is optional too. So you don't have to pray, you get to pray. If you're lucky you know how to pray. So when you leave your prayer, you should be a gift to your family. A gift to your family, smiling. If you were angry, it goes away. You're a better person because you connected with the unseen realm. You connected with the unseen realm beyond time and space. Numbers, numbers eight. He saw the angels and he saw the prophets. Don't live in this tangible realm, man. Don't just live in this like seriously this delusion. All of this is going to end. You know, one time I was with twenty students, high school students or so. And I said, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you get older? What do you want to be when you get older? I want to be an NBA player, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a, a hairstylist. I said, you guys all answered the wrong question. I didn't say, what do you want to do when you get older? Don't define yourself. You are a spiritual being. And this is just the human leg of your journey. You're this amazing spiritual being. This is just the human leg of your journey. And in our prayer, 
When we say the tashahud, ashhadu an la tahiyyatu lillah, salawatu wa tayyibat, assalamu alayka ayyuha nabi, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayna wa ala alayka salam. Ashhadu an la ilaha It's an amazing story. The Messenger of God, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, greets Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds. And then sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions all of us. Remembers each of us in that moment. As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin. Remembers us in that moment. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Thank you, O Messenger of God. After, after the Prophet ﷺ died, they wanted to change the, someone suggested to change the prayer from As-salamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullah, talking to the Prophet ﷺ, mentioning directly in the, in the second person, directly, muhatabah. They said, no, abadan, we're not going to change it. We're not going to change it. Ya Habibi, Ya Rasulullah. And then all, everyone witnessed this amazing, this amazing moment. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Your prayer is deficient and sinful if you don't mention the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah gather us with him on the day of judgment, inshaAllah, to drink from his hand. Ya Habibi, Ya Rasulullah. The closest to him on the day of judgment are those who make the most salawat and those who have the best character. Aqrabukum minni majlisan. وَحَبُّكُمْ إِلَيْهِ وَأَقْرَبُكُمْ مِنِّي مَجْلِسًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ حَسِينُكُمْ أَخْلَاقًا Everyone who's the best character. May Allah beautify our character and gather us with the beloved Messenger of God sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's conclude one more time. I want to test you guys. Let's say the hadith in Arabic at the count of three. Bismillah. One, two, three. Good. As-salatu. Everyone say after me. As-salatu. Mi'raju al-mu'min. In English, prayer is the ascension of the believer. When we pray Asha right now, after Ustaduna wa Habibuna, Qara Umar, let us ascend inshallah as a group and let us ascend individually. Don't look for the person's foot next to you, look for Allah. All right? I'm serious. Don't worry about his foot, worry about Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, conclude with Dua inshallah. We're going to do du'a after salah, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.